afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Bryan High School, where tonight the Bryan Golden Bears go out of conference and play host to the Cardinal Stretch Cardinals here on the Golden Bears Sports Network. Good evening, afternoon, everybody. I'm Chris Malenga, bringing you the sights and sounds of this one. Uh, the Golden Bears uh, have struggled as of late. They are sitting in uh, four and four on the season, two and four in the NWOL. Last night, they lost to the Evergreen Vikings by a score of 59 to 46. On the other side of things, Cardinal Stretch winners of nine straight. They currently sit at 10 and four on the season, four and zero in the league, the Toledo Area Athletic Conference. But their last game was January 30th. They had a opposing team member that was uh, COVID positive, and so the team was quarantined until this past Wednesday. Some other facts about Cardinal Stretch is they have played 13 out of their 15 games on the road. Over those last nine games that they have won, they are averaging 72 points per game. And they are led by Jaden Wilson. He's a 5'8 senior. He's averaging 25 points per game. He has 1,000 career points. And in that last win at Kenton, he had 48 points. So Jaden Wilson going to be somebody that the Golden Bears are going to want to key on and focus on tonight. However, once they do that, there are other people that can pick up the slack here. They've got, uh, after uh, Jaden Wilson, uh, they've got um, Romeo Hightower is averaging 7.4 points per game. Brendan Revels is averaging 8.7 points per game. And Ross Thompson, their big 6'8 uh, post player, averaging 7.4 points per game. So we will have that game for you this afternoon. First, we're going to take a quick time out here on the Golden Bears Sports Network. This, Mr. Stanton, is the Ford F-150. It is the all-time best-selling truck in history of the world. Recently intercepted engineering designs show that it, the new Ford Buck E, and the Ford Bronco are about to cause dramatic changes to the transportation industry. Your mission, if you and your team choose to accept it, is to expose these revolutionary vehicles to the world. This message will help to structure. The Bryan Athletic Boosters invites you to become Brian Strong. In the past three years, the Bryan Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, and the Athletic Wall of Fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Bryan High School. They have also made donations to the Bryan Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Bryan Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Brian Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Are you interested in a bachelor's degree? Did you know you can get your start at Northwest State, save thousands on tuition, and get your credits transferred to the four-year school of your choice? For more information on the NSCC Bachelor's Bound Pathway, contact our advising center today or stop by. All roads begin at Northwest State. Tonight's broadcast of Golden Bear Sports is proudly streamed by BMU Cable and High Speed Internet. BMU is your hometown local provider for digital HD cable and high speed internet. Call BMU today at 419-633-6100 or visit us on the web at cityofbryan.net. Go Bears from all of us at BMU. you looking for a mechanic that really knows how to repair both foreign and domestic vehicles? Let me recommend Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. Dave has spent the last 25 years diagnosing and repairing all makes and models of vehicles in Northwest Ohio. And he's now teamed up with Jason Dietz on State Route 6 just east of Edgerton. So if you're looking for a mechanic that can fix the problem that your last mechanic couldn't, think of Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. Golden Bear Sports Network, Chris Malenga here with you. It is uh, going to be Cardinal Stritch and Brian here today. You know, just taking a look at these two teams, uh, Cardinal Stritch plays in the Toledo Area Athletic Conference, so they uh, do not play many common opponents. The single common opponent was Bowling Green. They, uh, uh, Stritch beat Bowling Green 49 to 33. Meanwhile, the Golden Bears lost to Bowling Green by a score of 37-35, the only common opponent. So Cardinal Stritch uh, coming in at 10 and 4 in the season. Season 4 and 0 oh in the Toledo Area Athletic Conference. Brian 4 and 14, 2 and 4 in the NWOAL. So uh, Bears are looking to get back on track in this non-league contest, and we will have it here for you on the Golden Bear Sports Network. 
Right now, we are going to step aside, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups here on the Golden Bear Sports Network presented by BMU. At Krill Funeral Service, we know family is a broad term. A family member comes in all sizes and shapes. They can also be fluffy with four legs and a tail, but they're all part of your family. They can go on vacations with us. They're at the center of the parties, and often they're the ones that are there during the toughest of times. When the time comes to say goodbye to those very special family members, we at Krill Funeral Services are here with an environmentally friendly choice for aftercare. Krill Funeral Services, we're here for your... If you have a do-it-yourself painting job that really matters, you need professional-grade PPG paint from Grim Paint Supply located just north of Bryan at the intersection of County Road G and County Road 15. Whether it's interior, exterior, deck or barn paint, industry alkyds, and durethane. Grim Paint Supply has everything you need, including brushes, rollers, and trays, and can mix your specific color right there on the spot. When you use a professional-grade paint, it may cost a couple bucks more up front, but it will keep you off the ladder and end up saving you money in the long term. If the paint job really counts, Call Grim Paint Supply, 419-633-4979. Athletic Boosters invites you to become Brian Strong. In the past three years, the Brian Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, and the Athletic Wall of Fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Brian High School. They have also made donations to the Brian Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Brian Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Brian Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Sports Network, Chris Malanga along with you. Brian Arnold is not here for this game. Uh, he is coming back uh, for the girls game this afternoon or this evening. Uh, but I am going to fly solo here and I've got my partner in crime, Tony Malanga, here helping me with the stats as we go. And so we're ready to send this one down for our starting lineups down to our public address. And Mr. Matthew Mello. Gentlemen, welcome to Brian High School. Now to meet the teams. First with the visitors on the scoreboard, the Cardinal Stretch Cardinals. Starters for Cardinal Stretch, number three, Jaden Wilson. Number four, Romel Hightower. Number five, Dwayne Moorhead. Number 20, Brendan Rebels. Number 42, Ross Thompson. Varsity coach, Jamie Katchmary. Assistant coaches, Bob Goyeri. Starting lineups here on the Golden Bears Sports Network. Cardinal Stritch and Brian getting set to tip this one away. All right, here we go. It's going to be Thompson tipping it off. Actually, it's Hightower tipping it off against Titus Rohr. Tip is up, and it comes down to the Golden Bears. Martinez will bring it up. Go on the right side over to Cannon Lamberson. Lamberson calling the offense. Bounce pass back over to Martinez. Now over to Cox. Cox back to Martinez. Martinez will skip it over to Lamberson. Lamberson will make a move. Go into the paint. Throw it out to Titus Warren. Puts it up for the early 2-0 lead for the Golden Bears. Coming the other way, it's Wilson. Wilson, down low, three ball in the air by Rebels. It's good, three, two for the Golden Bears, or for in favor of Stritch. Now Stritch putting on some full court pressure. 
Lamberson with it, now to Martinez. They'll get over to Cox. Cox will bounce pass it over to Dakota Shaw. Shaw gives to Martinez as he crosses through center circle. Martinez will skip it to the right-hand side to Lamberson. Now back to Martinez. Now over to the left side to Cox. Dribble drive, shot up no good. Rebound tipped around, and it's going to be... Let's see, they're gonna say, they're gonna give it to Cardinal Stritch. So Hightower will inbound here for the Cardinals. Wilson now will bring it up. Wilson averaging 25.9 points per game. He'll go right side to Rebels. Rebels back top of the key to Moorhead. Now quickly underneath to Thompson. Thompson had a man open, didn't see him. Back out to Wilson on the left wing. Wilson calling the offense. Martinez comes in with active hands. He, may, he loses it, but gets it back. And now he's double teamed. They'll cross court it to Hightower. Hightower back out to Rebels, who buries another three. 6-2 stretch, and they both come by the three ball. Martinez will bring it up. Lamberson, now Cox. Now they find Shaw in the middle. Shaw over to Martinez on the right wing. Martinez. Looks to go left side to Cox. Cox back to Martinez, it's knocked away. Stolen away by Rebels, he'll go the distance, put it up, no good, rebound will come down and we're gonna get a foul on the floor it looks like. They think they're gonna call that on Cannon Lamberson, let's see what they do here. It is on Lamberson, they're gonna say it was on the rebound, so the Bears uh, will get a team foul and one for Lamberson. They inbound it, it is Blocked the first shot. Second shot is blocked as well. Moorhead took that one and that's gonna go to the Bears. So good job that, there by the Golden Bears to uh, bring it up and uh, play some defense there. Martinez with the basketball. They'll get it over to Shaw, cross court. Roar will let the defense go by and then give back to Martinez. Martinez back over to Lamberson in the corner. Now they'll go left side to Cox. Cox skips it across the court to Lamberson. Lamberson will drive. Then give down low to Shaw. Shaw goes baseline, moves around a player, and he's going to get the foul. And that's going to be uh, number five, Dwayne Moorhead. That'll be his first team first. That was on the floor as well. No shooting. Martinez has it now. We'll go down low in the corner to Lamberson. Lamberson will get back to Martinez, top of the key. Stretch in a 2-3 zone now. They'll give it over to Titus Rohr at the 15-foot line. Back to Cox, now to Rohr again. Rohr looks to drive, then back out to Cox. Cox thought about a three, double team. Jaden Wilson working on him. Now they go baseline with Titus Rohr. Rohr backs his way in, puts up a shot, no foul. And again, no foul on the shot. And it'll come down with Romo Hightower. Stretch is running. Wilson buries a three. That was the long three, NBA three. And it's nine to two here with 5.03 remaining first quarter. Stritch on top. Cox will bring it down. Bounce pass over to Roar. Roar drives. Roar tries to bounce pass. It gets off of the foot of Ross Thompson. It will stay right here. Bears will have it on the baseline. Lamberson will inbound. Bounced in, stolen away by, by a Wilson, and he throws it in. All the way down now to Rebels, who launches another three and buries it. So it's 12-2. That has come on four threes for Stritch. Bears will have it, 435 remaining here, first quarter. Cox with it, will bring it down. Look for some help, knocked away. Martinez has it at the foul line, right hand, no good, rebound. Comes down to Stritch, they're running it. Hightower with it, gives in the corner. Rebels launches a three. That one is good too. So they're a perfect five for five from three and it's gonna be a timeout for Coach Brandon Fisher. With 4-12 remaining first quarter, 15 to two Stritch. Back after this on the Golden Bear Sports Network. Tonight's broadcast of Golden Bear Sports is proudly streamed by BMU Cable and High Speed Internet. BMU is your hometown local provider for digital HD cable and high-speed internet. Call BMU today at 419-633-6100 or visit us on the web at cityofbryan.net. Go Bears from all of us at BMU.
Back out on the Golden Bear Sports Network, 15 to two, Cardinal Stritch leads. I want to thank our sponsors bringing you the game today, Brian Ford Lincoln, Jason Beach Collision and Custom, Brian Athletic Boosters, Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home and Crematory Veterans Services of Williams County, Grim Paints, BMU Cable and High Speed Internet, Curl Funeral Service and Northwest State Community College. Thank you all. Cardinal Stritch up 15 to two on five made threes, and Tony uh, had some uh, has a stat here. Four of those threes are from Brendan Rivels, and he's made all four of his so far. They are perfect five for five. And now we're going to get a foul as Martinez was trying to work around Rebels. Uh, actually, they're going to call that on uh, Jaden Wilson, which I thought it was definitely on uh, Rebels, but they're going to give it to Wilson. That'll be his first team second. Bears have it. Martinez with it. Bounce pass into Roar at the foul line. Goes underneath, shot up and good. And that was Dakota Shaw, so 15 to four. It was a good find there by Roar. Hightower working against Lamberson. He'll go with a long three and bury it. Six threes, all six made. Bears having trouble with the uh, pressure here. They do get it across to Cox. Cox will find Shaw baseline up and good. Tell you what, Dakota Shaw has been holding his own there on the baseline. He has the last four points for the Golden Bears. 18 to six, another three ball. And Wilson is just opening up a clinic. 30 second timeout, we're at 21 to six. We're just gonna keep it right here. And I'll tell you what, they have had seven threes. All of them have been good. They have not missed at all from three point. And the Bears are able to just get a couple of two pointers. Right now for the Bears, uh, Dakota Shaw is your leading scorer for four, and then Titus Rohr had uh, two. And all of these shots for the Bears have been in the paint, contested, and everything on the outside for Cardinal Stritch as the Cardinals uh, do that. So, 21 to six here, first quarter. Bears will have it. Stritch will come out in that pressure defense. Full court man to man, basically. Lamberson will be able to run the baseline. He gets it into Martinez. Now they go to trap at Martinez. Back to Lamberson. Lamberson will bring it up, trapped again. Over to Cox, and now down to uh, Roar. Roar puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Lamberson, who puts it up, no good. Rebound will come down to Hightower. Hightower will feed it down to Wilson. Wilson drives the lane, puts up a shot, and he's gonna be drawn for, they're gonna say, a jump ball, as two people got hands on it. Wilson had that Euro step through the middle of the key. So the jump ball goes in favor of Stritch, so they have it. Inbound to Thompson. Thompson will give over to Hightower, top of the key. Now back to Wilson. Wilson feeds underneath to Thompson. Shot is blocked by Dakota Shaw and will stay right here. Dakota Shaw at 6'4", blocks Ross Thompson at 6'8". So the Bears playing a good defense. The reason it's 21 to six is they haven't had any shots underneath that can be contested. Inbound, we're gonna get a foul on the floor. And I think that's gonna be on Evan Cox. We'll see what it is. It is, that'll be Cox's first team second. Rebels will inbound baseline. They get it in. Thompson launches a shot, no good. Rebound tipped around. Finally comes down to Cannon Lamberson. Good defense there by the Bears. 243 and counting first quarter. Down to Cox. Cox dribble drive. Puts up a shot, no good. Rebound comes down after a uh, uh, fight for it. Thompson will have it. Now Wilson with it. Wilson working against Lamberson. He'll work around the screen and it'll come through the middle of the key. Throw up a shot, no good. And he will head to the line to shoot two. Foul's gonna be on Dakota Shaw. That'll be his first team third. Wilson in the line, he's an 87% foul shooter. Jaden Wilson, the best player we have seen this year. Carter Brown will check in for the Bears. Wilson missed that first one. Second one rattles home. 22 to six. Martinez with the basketball. 
working to break the press. Brown gets over the timeline, gives it left side to Martinez. Martinez, head fake, puts up a shot, 10 footers, no good. Rebound comes down to a high tower. It's knocked away by Martinez, though. It's two on one. They'll feed it over to Shaw. Shaw puts it up, shot is blocked. He gets the rebound, though. And now Martinez has it. Will dribble drive again. Bounce pass underneath to Lamberson. Lamberson waits for traffic to clear, loses the basketball. And now it's quickly down to Wilson, who puts up a layup. And good. Wilson now with 12 points. Their two scorers are Wilson and Rebels, each with 12. Or with it. He'll go baseline, and then he gets double team. Loses the basketball. And we're going to get a foul as Cannon Lamberson hit the deck hard. That's going to be on Ross Thompson. So that'll be the third team foul for both teams. Checking into the game is Christian Burton. Hightower will have a seat. Bears get the, the basketball off the inbound, get it underneath the tightest roar, then back out to Carter Brown, the left wing, three ball in the air, no good. Rebound comes down to Roar. Roar will go baseline, looks for some out, back out to Brown. Brown skips it across the court to Lamberson, now underneath to Roar, and we're going to get a foul on Ross Thompson, and that'll be his second. Zach Grosjean whistled that one. Cam Hughes will check in for the Cardinals. Inbound to Roar. Roar is down on the right wing. Gives it underneath to Lamberson. Lamberson loses the basketball. Stritch will bring it back down. Hughes with it. And then Hughes will give over to Wilson. Wilson will drive, put up a shot, off balance, and good. Wilson now with 14. He's averaging 25. He's got 14 in the first quarter. They get it across to Martinez. Martinez triple team will no look pass it over to Lamberson. Lamberson cross it to Martinez. Martinez goes baseline, puts up a jumper in and out. Rebound will come down to Stritch. Burton drives it ahead to Wilson. Wilson looked for a pass it to Rebels. It's knocked away, and Wilson was being unselfish there, and Rebels just didn't see the one coming and lost the basketball. Underneath, back Lamberson. We'll give out to Titus Roar, knocked out of bounds, and we'll go to Stritch. So a turnover for the Golden Bears there. Now the officials will talk about it. Titus Roar standing there with the basketball saying it was his. And the official's going to overrule it, so it will stay with the Golden Bears. That's when you have two officials that, kind of, that talk about things to kind of get the call right. Martinez will have it as we go under 30 seconds to play first quarter. Underneath to Roar. Roar goes over to Lamberson. Lamberson thought about a three, then he'll feed baseline to Roar. Roar moves, puts up a shot, he's going to get called with a charge. And we've got a technical foul now on Titus Roar. So we're not, in addition to the foul, he has a T. And that was way too quick. <laughs> I don't know what Titus said to him, but that was way quick. So 26 to 6 here. They're going to put Wilson on the line. Now Coach Fisher is talking to the officials. And I think Titus has a a beef there, a legitimate beef, and now he calls the other official, calls the other official over and wants an explanation. Second one is good. 28 to 6. All right, so Stritch will have it here with 16.7. They get the basketball after the technical foul. Wilson with the basketball launches a three and it buries it. It's 31 to six end of the first quarter. Here in the waning moments of the first quarter, be lucky to see if the Bears get a shot off. They get it to Roar who launches one, no good. So at the end of the first quarter, it's 31 to six Cardinal stretch back after this on the Golden Bears Sports Network. The Brian Ford Lincoln, we like to keep you in our Ford Cousin of Ford for excellence every day. Our salespeople spend hours researching not only Ford and Lincoln products, but also our competitors. 
This helps us recommend the perfect vehicle for our customers' needs. That same attention to detail carries throughout our entire staff from vehicle service to customer service. Everybody here at Brian Ford Lincoln looks forward to earning your business with our President's Award attitude every day. Are you interested in a bachelor's degree? Did you know you can get your start at Northwest State, save thousands on tuition, and get your credits transferred to the four-year school of your choice? For more information on the NSCC Bachelor's Bound Pathway, contact our Advising Center today or stop by. All roads begin at Northwest State. on the Golden Bears Sports Network, 28 to six. Cardinal Stritch leads this one. Actually, it's 31 to six. Cardinal Stritch leads this one. Uh, you have any scoring updates here for the uh, first quarter, Tony? Wilson has had shot four threes and two twos and has made all that he's shot there. And he is shooting 75% from the free throw line. Rebels has shot four threes and has made all three of the fours he's shot. All right, there you have it, 31 to six. Tony filling in, doing some stats for me today. Martinez with the basketball. We'll give underneath his show, Walter, then back out. And now it's stolen away and tipped away by Martinez, but it comes down the hands of Christian Burton. Burton will find Wilson, who makes the, the bucket. Wilson's averaging 25.9 uh, points per game, and he has 21 of them here with 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. Titus Rohr will have it. And we'll get a foul. That's going to be on Dwayne Moorhead. That'll be his second, team fifth. Checking into the game is Cannon Lamberson and Evan Cox. Sitting down will be Martinez and Rohr. Cox inbounds to Shaw. Shaw over to Martinez, or Showalter, excuse me, in the corner. Now back to Cox, who's standing in the circle. Cox between the rings, will dribble, shot up. It's short, no good, rebound comes down to Stritch. Quickly they advance it ahead. Shot is up and good by Christian Burton. Burton has two of the points now. I take that back, that wasn't Christian Burton, that was... That was uh, Wilson. At least that's what they say on the scoreboard. Cox will come through the middle of the lane, pick up a foul, as Cam Hughes will get the foul. So Cox will go to the line to shoot two. First one is off front iron, no good. That one rattles around. And Stritch will bring it up. Burton with it, gives underneath to Cam Hughes, who will be whistled, or a whistle will be happening here. And that's going to be on Dakota Shaw, his second. Team six, that'll put Kim Hughes to the line. No good. Hughes is a 60% free throw shooter. Titus Rohr will check back in for Shaw. Shaw and Rohr each with two fouls. Very physical game happening. Next one for Hughes is no good, rattles off. Bears will bring it down. Quickly getting it down to Braden Showalter. Now I'll give to Brown. Brown will try to work around the screen, then give out to Cox. Cox watches a three. Off front iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Burton. Burton will fire it ahead. Trying to find Hightower, and Hightower connects. 37 to seven. 613 and counting. Here's Roar. Roar's being chased by the entire stretch team, basically. And now Showalter has it. Showalter to Roar. Roar at the foul line, puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Hightower. 
Itaro fired ahead to Wilson. Wilson, scoop pass to Rebels. Rebels stops, fade away, no good. Rebound comes down to Brown for the Bears. Cox brings it up. Over to Showalter on the left side. Showalter back to Cox. Now to Brown. Brown's on the right wing. Brown, skip pass over to Showalter. Now back to Cox between the circles. Martinez back to Cox. Now they'll give it to Lamberson. Now back to Martinez and Cox. The, the, the uh, Bears moving around the perimeter, trying to find Cannon Lamberson out of bounds. Checking back in is Ross Thompson for the Cardinals. Stretch will bring it up, Wilson. Working against Cannon Lamberson. He fires underneath to Ross Thompson, and Ross banks it off and good. I'll tell you what, he is a good basketball player, Wilson. He And you know, a lot of times he fires the passes and his teammates don't even know they're coming, so it's challenging for them to kind of catch and make the shot. Roar, three ball, buries it. Titus Roar with five now. Wilson brings it in, fires to Thompson. Thompson working against Roar, shot up no good. Rebound comes down to Cox. Cox moves it up quickly. Fast break over to Lamberson. Lamberson puts up a shot, no good. Oh, it banks off and good. Lamberson was looking for the foul afterwards, the contact, but didn't get it. It's 39-12, 4.22 half time, uh, for the half. Wilson puts up a shot, count it, and the foul. Foul will be on Cannon Lamberson. That's gonna be two for him. Checking into the game is Dwayne Moorhead. For Cardinal Stritch, that'll put Wilson in line for the traditional three-point play. Wilson already has 23 on the evening. And he makes that one too. 30-point lead now, 42 to 12. Brown with the basketball, now to Cox. Cox will drive, put up a shot that's blocked by Ross Thompson. Quickly will get fed down and Stritch trying to pick it up. Wilson does, Wilson will go baseline, put up a shot, no good. Tries to get his own rebound and he'll back it all the way out himself and work against Braden Showalter. He'll go through the circle, now he'll go left side. Now he'll go baseline, put up a shot and good. Bears will bring it up. Cox with the basketball over to Brown. Brown feeds underneath to Lamberson. Lamberson tries to make a guy miss, puts up a shot, no good. Titus Roar cleans it up. Seven for Roar. Burton will bring it down. Stand in the center circle. Burton will go right side now, then give to Hightower, top of the key. Hightower working it in, trying to back in against Cox. Shot is missed by Hightower. Now he gets his own rebound, misses it again, and then a miss the third time on Ross Thompson, but he will draw the Carter Brown foul. So I'll put Thompson in the line to shoot too. First one is up and good. Thompson shooting 63% from the foul line. Craig Jackson will check in for the Bears. Next one is no good. Rebound comes down to Jackson. Jackson will give it to Cox. Now they move it up quickly. Titus Rohr launches a three. No good. Rebound. Oh, actually it was good. <laughs> It was, wasn't pretty, it banked around, but rattled in. Wilson with the basketball, gives it out to Burton who launches a three, no good. Rebound tipped around, and it's gonna be Martinez that saves it. Bears have it. Cox will bring it up left side. Bears trail 45-17 with 2.28 and counting here. 
second quarter. Cox tried to get underneath. Shot is taken by Titus Rohr, and again, it was the finger roll, and good. Got to give it to the Bears. They're not taking a break here. They're still playing good D. Three ball, no good. That was a long three by Wilson. Underneath, Cannon Lamberson loses the basketball. Fire it down. Hightower gets it underneath the bucket, puts it up and in. Cox will inbound over to Showalter. Cox will bring it up. Jackson underneath. No good shot out there by Titus Rohr. It was tipped. Rebound comes down, and Stritch will bring it the other way. Burton fires underneath. Hightower up and good. Actually, it was Ross Thompson up and good. 30-point lead here for Stritch. Minute and 28 remaining. First half. Cox goes through the middle of the key. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound. Titus Rohr has it. He gets hammered. No call. Down to Burton. Puts it up and in. And we're going to get a timeout to sub. Be a 30-second time. I'll take a quick one with him here on the Golden Bear Sports Network. This, Mr. Stanton, is the Ford F-150. It is the all-time best-selling truck in history of the world. Recently intercepted engineering designs show that it, the new Ford Mach-E, and the Ford Bronco are about to cause dramatic changes to the transportation industry. Your mission, if you and your team choose to accept it, is to expose these revolutionary vehicles to the world. This message will self-destruct. Back on the Golden Bear Sports Network. It is about what we expected. Cardinal Stritch 51, Bryant 19 with a minute 16 remaining here. First quarter, or second quarter rather. Martinez will bring it up for the Bears. Has it top of the key, feeds it under the roar. Now they skip it out to Jackson who launches the three. No good. Rebound comes down to Ross Thompson of Stritch. He'll give to Owen Carter who has checked into the game. Carter cross courts it to Kyle Schwargos. No good. And we're going to get a jump ball or a foul the other way. Let's see what it is. It's going to be on uh, Dwayne Moorhead. Number five. That'll be her, his third foul. And we're going to have one and one now as that is the seventh team foul now for Stritch and eight for the Golden Bears. So either any fouls result in foul shots now. Evan Cox will head to the line. That one is good. Nothing but cords. Rattles around, no good. Rebound comes down to Thompson. Now Carter will bring it. Lots of subs in now for Stritch. Underneath, Swergus. Back out to Carter. Carter working against Martinez. And we're going to get a five-second call turnover for Cardinal Stritch. And that'll go back to the Bears with 28.2 to play and a 31-point deficit. Stritch will get back into their 2-3 zone here for these last few seconds. Martinez gets the inbound pass. Now to Cox. Cox back to Martinez. Martinez drives, puts up a shot, and it is good. He shot over Ross Thompson, who has almost a foot difference in height. <laughs> 13 seconds to play here, first half. Jack Riekert with it. And a shot is not made. As at the end of the first half, the score is Cardinal Stritch 51, Brian 22. Back with halftime stats and more after this on the Golden Bear Sports Network. Are you interested in a bachelor's degree? Did you know you can get your start at Northwest State, save thousands on tuition, and get your credits transferred to the four-year school of your choice? For more information on the NSCC Bachelor's Bound Pathway, contact our advising center today or stop by. All roads begin at Northwest State. 
Yeah, no, they don't, though. All Are you looking for a mechanic that really knows how to repair both foreign and domestic vehicles? Let me recommend Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. Dave has spent the last 25 years diagnosing and repairing all makes and models of vehicles in Northwest Ohio. And he's now teamed up with Jason Dietz on State Route 6 just east of Edgerton. So if you're looking for a mechanic that can fix the problem that your last mechanic couldn't, think of Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. Tonight's broadcast of Golden Bear Sports is proudly streamed by BMU Cable and High Speed Internet. BMU is your hometown local provider for digital HD cable and high speed internet. Call BMU today at 419-633-6100 or visit us on the web at cityofbryan.net. Go Bears from all of us at BMU. At Krill Funeral Service, we know family is a broad term. A family member comes in all sizes and shapes. They can also be fluffy with four legs and a tail, but they're all part of your family. They can go on vacations with us. They're at the center of the parties, and often they're the ones that are there during the toughest of times. When the time comes to say goodbye to those very special family members, we at Krill Funeral Services are here with an environmentally friendly choice for aftercare. Krill Funeral Services, we're here for your entire family. We know in life that we take time to celebrate life events. We help families honor the lives of those they love by highlighting what made their loved ones special and honoring the legacy that was left. We are often very busy, but we encourage families to slow down, take time to gather together, and celebrate the impact their loved one had on their life. Allow us to work with you when the need arises to create a personalized and meaningful service. Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home, we are always here when you need us. The Bryan Athletic Boosters invites you to become Bryan Strong. In the past three years, the Bryan Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, and the Athletic Wall of Fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Bryan High School. They have also made donations to the Bryan Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Bryan Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Brian Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Here at Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home, we understand that each person is unique in their own way. We help families honor the lives of those they love by highlighting what made their loved ones special and honoring the legacy that was left. Funerals are only limited by one's imagination and what they feel is appropriate. Please allow us to work with you when the time comes to provide compassionate and personalized service for you and your family. Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home, we are always here when you need us. Here at the Williams County Veterans Service Office, our mission is plain and simple. We are here to serve our local Williams County veterans and their dependents. We are staffed with trained service officers who have the compassion and understanding to assist their fellow veterans in obtaining all federal and state benefits that they have earned. Additionally, we provide emergency financial assistance and transportation to VA medical centers. So if you're a veteran or a dependent of a veteran, stop in today and see how we can help you at the Williams County Veterans Service Office. If you have a do-it-yourself painting job that really matters, you need professional-grade PPG paint from Grim Paint Supply located just north of Bryan at the intersection of County Road G and County Road 15. Whether it's interior, exterior, deck or barn paint, industry alkyds, and durethane, Grim Paint Supply has everything you need, including brushes, rollers, and trays, and can mix your specific color right there on the spot. When you use a professional grade paint, it may cost a couple bucks more up front, but it will keep you off the ladder and end up saving you money in the long term. If the paint job really counts, call Grim Paint Supply, 419-633-4979. You don't always see them, and they don't always see you. That's the time to call Jason Dietz Collisions and Customs in Edgerton. Many of today's vehicles feature very durable and lightweight aluminum construction and we are proud to be one of the few shops in the area with the proper tools and certified technicians to bring that aluminum beauty back to life. Jason Deach Collisions and Customs on State Route 6 on the east side of Edgerton. Back on the Golden Bears Sports Network halftime here. It is Cardinal Stretch 51, the Golden Bears 22, and uh, it has been a clinic 
by a couple of players from Cardinal Stritch, led by Jaden Wilson with 26 points. He may not even be the leading scorer. Uh, we're going to uh, let Tony, uh, Tony Malenga here helping out with stats, and I'll let him uh, give you some uh, scores here. Jaden Wilson definitely is the leading scorer with 26, but, but uh, Hightower is getting close. He's, he shot a lot today, and as well as Rebels with three, four threes, adding 12 to the total. Um, big shot, 10 tw twos, three, or eight threes, and five free throws, adding their total to 51. Their uh, first, first uh, seven shots were made threes to have their first 21 points without uh, any, any getting inside the three-point arc. It was crazy. On the other side, what do you got for the Golden Bears? The Bears are uh, leading the Bears is Roar. He's shot two threes and three twos. Um, and the Bears have been totaled up with nine twos, three threes, with two free throws to get to 22. They're definitely not, the points are not there for the Bears, but the intensity of the Bears is still there. They're, they're not in the game, but they're in the game, if you know what I mean. That's right. They're, they, they definitely have not, uh, you know, they, they definitely are not hanging their heads and putting their heads down. They're actually, you know, in this one competitively as far as, you know, the competition that they're trying to do. They're trying to make... Uh, make it a game of it here. I want to thank our sponsors bringing you this game today on the Golden Bear Sports Network. They include uh, Northwest State Community College, Curl Funeral Service, BMU Cable and High Speed Internet, Grim Paints, Brian Ford Lincoln, Jason Deach Collision Custom, the Bryan Athletic Boosters, Oberlin Turnbull Funeral and Crematory, and Veterans Services of Williams County. Thanks to all of them for bringing you the game to here on the Golden Bear Sports Network. Uh, we have tonight uh, girls basketball for you. It is going to be Bryan and Liberty Center. That game rescheduled uh, from the uh, 4th of February after we had some weather delays there, and that's where we're going to be uh, tonight. Uh, that game will start about 6 o'clock. The JV game is going to start an hour earlier than usual, so the varsity game game should start about 6.30. Uh, we're going to take another time out. When we come back, we'll have the second half here on the Golden Bears Sports Network. Hey, Brian Ford Lincoln, we like to think we earn our Ford President's Award for Excellence every day. Our salespeople spend hours researching not only Ford and Lincoln products, but also our competitors. This helps us recommend the perfect vehicle for our customers' needs. That same attention to detail carries throughout our entire staff from vehicle service to customer service. Everybody here at Brian Ford Lincoln looks forward to earning your business with our President's Award attitude every day. Let's stream that night. My goal is a bachelor's degree and I am starting at Northwest State. I get a great education and save thousands on tuition. All roads begin at Northwest State. Visit northweststate.edu today. Are you looking for a mechanic that really knows how to repair both foreign and domestic vehicles? Let me recommend Dave Brown at Jason Deets Customs and Collisions. Dave has spent the last 25 years diagnosing and repairing all makes and models of vehicles in Northwest Ohio. And he's now teamed up with Jason Deets on State Route 6 just east of Edgerton. So if you're looking for a mechanic that can fix the problem that your last mechanic couldn't, think of Dave Brown at Jason Deets Customs and Collisions. Last year, over 390 people in Ohio were killed because someone chose to get behind the wheel impaired. This is Lieutenant Bob Ashenfelder of the Ohio State Highway Patrol's Defiance Post. As part of the patrol's ongoing effort to contribute to a safer Ohio, troopers will continue an increased focus on impaired driving arrests in 2018. But we can't fight this battle on our own. We need your commitment to plan ahead by designating a sober driver or call for a ride. If you drink, don't drive. At Krill Funeral Service, we know family is a broad term. A family member comes in all sizes and shapes. They can also be fluffy with four legs and a tail, but they're all part of your family. They can go on vacations with us, they're at the center of the parties, and often they're the ones that are there during the toughest of times. When the time comes to say goodbye to those very special family members, we at Krill Funeral Services are here with an environmentally friendly choice for aftercare. Krill Funeral Services, we're here for your entire family. Back on the Golden Bear Sports Network, just getting set to start the second half of play. It's Cardinal Stritch 51, Brian 22. Thanks for joining us here on the Golden Bear Sports Network. Jaden Wilson with the basketball for Stritch. 
He is their leading scorer tonight. He'll go through the middle of the key, put up a shot, and it is good as it rolls off the rim. Bears will come the other way. Stritch in there, pressure D. Cox will get it over to Shaw. Now to Titus Rohr. Rohr looks for some help. Gives to Martinez. Martinez working. Over to Cox. Cox now back to Martinez. Martinez will roll it around to Shaw. Now back to Cox, top of the key, back to Martinez, left wing. Feed underneath, Shaw puts it up and in. Nice play there, Shaw went baseline and got a perfect one from Martinez. Wilson with it, no look pass over to Hightower. Hightower looks to drive, it loses the basketball, then gets it back, he skips it out. And three ball in the air and nothing but cord for Brendan Rebels. Rebels with 15 on the night. Cox will get it over to the timeline. Bounce pass over to Roar. Roar gives it cross court to Martinez who launches a three and buries it. Nice three by AJ Martinez. It makes it 56 27. 638 and counting. Lamberson pokes things away. Now Cox will put up an easy layup. Lamberson. Right on Wilson, poked the ball away. Now Wilson's running, working against Lamberson. Cross courts it to Thompson, he backs in, puts up a shot, and good off high glass. And a timeout is called by Stritch. This will be a full timeout, as that's all they have left. So with 6.16 remaining third quarter, 58-29, back after this on the Golden Bear Sports Network, presented by BMU. Keeping children safe on Ohio school buses is a priority for the Ohio State Highway Patrol. This is Lieutenant Bob Ashenfelder of the Defiance Post. Safety on the roadway is a shared responsibility. Even though motorists are required to stop as a safety measure, children should always look both ways before crossing the street and remain alert to any sudden traffic changes. Together, we can make this a safe school year. The Bryan Athletic Boosters invites you to become Bryan Strong. In the past three years, the Bryan Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, and the athletic wall of fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Bryan High School. They have also made donations to the Bryan Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Bryan Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Brian Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Back on the Golden Bears Sports Network, 58-29. Bears have the basketball here with 6.05 remaining here, third quarter. Martinez gives over to Cox on the left-hand side. Now back to Martinez between the circles. Lamberson has it out. Right wing goes underneath to Ro uh, Shaw, who puts it up. And uh, Dakota Shaw has played really well tonight. Eight points, and he has provided some relief on the baseline. Wilson with it, working against Lamberson. Launches a big three and buries it. Now with 31 on the night. Well above his average. And we're still early in third quarter. Roar with the basketball. Gives it underneath to Shaw. Now back out to Martinez. Martinez will go baseline, then give to Roar. Roar launches a three ball. It's way off of Martinez. Comes in to clean it up. Missing the shot, though. And we're going to get a traveling violation on Romel Hightower as he was trying to move up. He Cox got a hand on that basketball, I think, and caused him to travel. So Bears will inbound under their basket with Lamberson. Lamberson gives to Cox, who launches a three. No good. Rebound tipped around. Roar gets it, puts it up, and now we're going to get a foul. And let's see if they're going to call that, I think, on Ross Thompson. It is. That'll be his third foul. We're at the line to shoot two. First one, clanks off. Next one is good. 61 to 32. Wilson will bring it up. Make a move, miss the shot. 
put up his own rebound and get it. One-handed, he got the rebound, didn't even bring it down, he just popped it back up again. Cox looks to drive, then he'll give over to Martinez. Makes a guy miss, then feeds it to Rohr. Stolen away by Wilson, Wilson should have it. And then he tried to dish it at the last second to Rebels and it got tipped. I think he was trying to be selfless with the ball to his teammate, but when he did that, he got it into the hands of Cannon Lamberson and it went out of bounds. They inbound it. Wilson with it, right wing launches a three, and that is an air ball, and that was aided by the uh, tip from Dakota Shaw. Now we're gonna get a foul on A.J. Martinez. A.J. Martinez is on the floor with the basketball and was whistled for a foul. They inbound to Wilson. Wilson feeds underneath to Thompson. Thompson draws a double team and then dishes out to Rebels. Rebels backs back, gives back to Wilson. Wilson looks to drive, then he'll dish over to Hightower. Now back to Wilson, comes through the middle of the key, puts up a hook shot, and it is good. I don't know how many shots, I think that Wilson has missed one or two shots tonight. Everything else he has put up has fallen down. Bears have it on the other end with Martinez. Now Cox will look to drive and it's knocked away by Romo Hightower and will stay here. He was trying to find Cannon Lamberson and Hightower just able to jump that pass. Showalter will check back in. Martinez has it between the circles. He'll go left side to Showalter. Showalter gives underneath, now to Roar. Roar puts it up and shot is blocked. Roar hits the deck, no foul is called. And Rohr is a little slow to get up. Baseline for them, and Rohr hits the deck. No whistle. Cannon Lamerson blocks the shot whistle. I just don't understand some of the calls tonight. Rohr is, I think he might be a little, not doing well there. He's on his knee, got his hands on his knees right now for the first one. Let's see if they get subbed out. First one is no good. This is Dwayne Moorhead who shoots 62% from the foul line. Next one, no good. Rebound comes down to Martinez. Martinez will go down the court right side. Now he'll come between the circles. Give to Lamberson underneath to Roar. It's tipped and will stay here. Roar is looking for Shaw. Cam Hughes checks back in for Stritch. Martinez can't handle the inbound and it gets knocked out of bounds by Rebels and so it'll stay here with the Bears. 3.28 here, third quarter, 65-32. Underneath to Roar, now back out. Showalter, bumped. Foul's gonna be on Moorhead, number five. See if they send somebody in for him. They do as Christian Burton comes back in. Bears will have it here on the sideline. Martinez will inbound. Sorry, Showalter will inbound. Cross courts it to Martinez. Bounce pass, Shaw up and no around the room and good. That was a great inbound pass. Stritch will bring it up, fire underneath. Cam Hughes puts it up and in. Wilson can score, but he can also distribute the basketball, which is what we saw there. Roar will go baseline, then get back out to Martinez, who launches a, a three, it's good for three. Stritch comes the other way. Wilson, cross court skip to Hightower, launches a three. This is how they started out, they just were la launching threes. 70-37. Underneath, shot is blocked. And 
almost into the camera goes Jaden Wilson. <laughs> I think Tony chose the best, uh, the best thing up here. He is up here for this game, and Parker is down there. <laughs> Bears with it. <laughs> Listening to the uh, conversation between the, the crew is making me chuckle. Bears have it with Cannon Lamberson over to Martinez. Skips it back to Lamberson. Bears just moving it around. Trying to move inside. Martinez will give to Showalter, who gives in to Titus Rohr. Rohr puts up a shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Hightower. Stretch will go the other way with Wilson. Wilson works around a screen and feeds it underneath. Cross court, three ball is missed. That was Kyle Swirgos. And they get it down, Titus Rohr puts it up and in. Nice find to Titus Rohr, who is streaking down the center of the court. Now Wilson will go the other way and find Cam Hughes, who was all by himself. He had beaten back the Bears' defense. He was well behind them. And so every time the Bears get some success the other way, Stritch is found. And we're going to get a foul there as Cannon Lamberson was trying to make the shot. Let's see what the foul is. It's going to be on number 10, Christian Burton. That'll be his first. So that'll put Lamberson in line to shoot two. Up and good. Keith Hurd's going to check in, and Titus is going to have a seat. No good on the next one. Rebound will come down to Stritch. Swirgos is getting it down, and it's stolen away and knocked out of bounds. So Martinez stole it away, found Showalter, and it got knocked out of bounds, so we'll stay right here. And Craig Jackson checks in, and he will go baseline to inbound the basketball with a minute and two remaining here, third quarter. Our score is 72-40 to 40 in favor of Stritch. Inbound to Huard. Hoord over to Martinez. Now back to Jackson. Jackson, head fake. Now Showalter with it. Now back to Martinez. Martinez will get it knocked away as he was trying to find uh, Jackson. The other way, shot is up and good for Christian Burton. Burton now has a six on the night. 39 seconds to play third quarter. Martinez with the basketball. Showalter down to Shaw, back out to Showalter. Showalter will find Martinez. Martinez underneath to Shaw, now out to Jackson. Jackson launches a three, no good, rebound. And we're gonna get a foul on Braden Showalter. That'll be his first, team third. Fourteen seconds here and counting, end of the third period approaching. And shot is missed, but lots of contact, and Romel Hightower will head to the line. That's going to be Craig Jackson's first foul, team fourth. Hightower heads the line, a 78% free throw shooter. First one is no good. Next one is no good. Rebound will come down to Martinez, who is racing down the court. Launches a half court three. No good. The end of the third quarter, your score is Cardinal Stritch 74, Brian 40. Back after this on the Golden Bear Sports Network. 
it's pretty obvious that there is a huge inventory of trailers at Jason Deach Trailer Sales in Edgerton. But what you can't see is how many parts they have available. Axles, brakes, doors, fenders, hitches, hinges, electrical, lighting, suspensions, tie-downs, toolboxes, tires, and wheels. If it's a part you need for your trailer, you can get it online or in person at Jason Deach Trailer Sales on the east side of Edgerton. Here at Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home, we understand that each person is unique in their own way. We help families honor the lives of those they love by highlighting what made their loved ones special and honoring the legacy that was left. Funerals are only limited by one's imagination and what they feel is appropriate. Please allow us to work with you when the time comes to provide compassionate and personalized service for you and your family. Oberlin Turnbull Funeral Home, we are always here when you need us. Back on the Golden Bears Sports Network, 74 to 40. Cardinal Stritch leads the Golden Bears. And Brian, as we start the fourth quarter, Bears will have the basketball to start here. Craig Jackson will inbound to Carter Brown. Underneath to Huard. Now cross court to Jackson, launches a three. No good, rebound comes down to Huard, who puts up a shot. No good, but hit hard to the line. First one by Huard is good, it rattled. Next one is rattles, but good. Stretch brings it around. Three ball in the air for Kyle Swirgos. Bounce pass. Carter Brown with it inside, then kicks back out to Jackson, who will go baseline, then give to Huard. Huard makes a nice basketball move up and good. Keith Huard now with four. Coming the other way is Burton. Burton gives to Swigos, who buries another three, so he has six on the night now. Seven oh two remaining, 80 to 44 is your score. Jackson bounce pass over to Carter Brown. Brown gives baseline. Now back out to Brown. Show Walter. Beat underneath to Cox, or excuse me, Shaw. Keith Heward puts up a shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Tries to find a shot, but then he'll give back out to Showalter. Showalter will uh, dish to Jackson, who launches a long three in and out. Rebound knocked around. Bodies on the floor and come down to Dakota Shaw. Brown now has it. Jackson with the basketball, back to Brown. Brown will drive, backs his way in, looks for help, out to Jackson. Jackson will come in the middle, put up a shot, no good. Rebound will come down to Hightower. So Bears had lots of shots, knocked out of bounds there by Dakota Shaw. Bears had lots of shots down there, just couldn't get anything to fall. And they're gonna say that the Bears will retain possession there. Again, the officials had a conversation about it. Jackson will inbound underneath. He finds Brown. Brown steps around the defender, dribbles in, puts up a shot, and good. At the 10-foot line. Stretch coming the other way. Burton now is your point guard. Another three ball in the air, no good. Rebound comes down to Jackson. That was Swear goes again. Jackson comes all the way, lets the traffic pass and put up a shot. High glass, no good. Rebound will come down to Showalter who launches one. No good. Rebound this time comes down to Shaw. Brown now will shoot a three. No good. Rebound, and we're going to get a foul, and it will stay right here. And that's going to be on number 21, Cam Hughes. That'll be his second, team fifth. Bears will inbound underneath as it was a rebound. Inbounds to Brown. Three ball in the air. 
by Jackson, no good. It goes behind the backboard, and it'll stay here with, or no, it'll actually go to Stritch. Burton will bring it up. Working around a screen, he still has it. He comes in, puts up a shot, and buries it from the foul line extended. Jackson with the basketball will give to Showalter. He tries to feed into Heward. Heward has it at the foul line. Gives out to Jackson. Jackson takes a step in, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound will come down to Stritch. And now it's stolen away by Jackson. Jackson will come up, and they're going to get a foul for uh, Cam Hughes. That'll be three on him now. Jackson will bring it up. 16 fouls mean every foul going on now. We're going to have a shooting for the Bears. Jackson misses the first one. Carter Dominic will check, or Dylan Dominic will check back in. <laughs> And we're also going to see Jalen Damron check it. Actually, that's not correct. Next one is no good as well. Hightower with a basketball will give over to Burton. Burton will give it down underneath. Shot is up and good. I don't know how Cam Hughes made that shot. He had bare, uh, bodies all over the place. Dominic over to Jackson. Jackson gives to Shaw. It's stolen away by Burton. Burton will bring it ahead. Give over right side. Swear goes. Puts up a three ball again. Swear goes with nine now. 420 and counting here, fourth quarter. Underneath to Heward. Heward runs into some trouble. Keeps moving. Puts up a shot. No good. And Hightower will bring it down quickly. Dominic knocks it out of the way, and it should. They're going to say it's staying here. Checking in the game is Owen Carter for uh, the uh, Stritch, and Aiden Pels will check in. Burton with it. We'll give baseline. Shot is missed. They're going to call a foul on Jackson. So that'll put Jack Reeker to the line. Jackson picks up the foul. Reeker is a 57% foul shooter. First one rattles and no good. Next one is good. 352 and counting here. 88-46 your score. Underneath. Pels with it, then back out. Cross court to Dominic, who catches like a wide receiver, then back into Pels. Pels back out. Now to Jackson. Jackson. Looks to drive, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Swirgos, who will give it to Burton. Burton will fire it down. Cam Hughes almost loses out of bounds, but able to poke it back to Burton. Burton back over to Reichert. Reichert will drive, put up a shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Jackson. And then it'll go to Dominic. Jackson with the basketball over to Pels. Now back to Dominic. Pels with the basketball. Underneath, Sam Harold saves it. 
puts up a three. No good, gets buried in that back corner. Jackson puts up a shot, no good. Now Dominic underneath there, and we're gonna get a foul. And that is gonna be on Kyle Schwigos. That'll be his first, second, excuse me, team seventh. That'll put Dominic to the line. Checking into the game is gonna be Joe Watson. Sitting down will be Craig Jackson. Eighty-eight forty-six as Dominic heads to the line for two. First one is good. Actually, this would be one and one. Next one is good as well. Stretch will bring it up. Bears have it. Harold with the basketball, 88-48. Watson, now underneath, Pels can't catch. <laughs> Gives it back to Dominic who throws, throws up a three and gets it, 88-51. Burton with the basketball. He will give over to Carter. Carter goes baseline, finds a man underneath, and that is Cam Hughes. Hughes now with eight. Minute 43 to play, 90 to 51. Hoover with the basketball, puts up a shot, it's blocked, and then we're gonna get a foul. And that's gonna be on Hoover as it was just contact being made. Going to see a couple more people. Parker Baumler check in. I'm not sure who five is for the Bears. Burton with the basketball puts up a shot. No good. Rebound will come down to Pels. Minute 20 to play. Dominic with it, they give it underneath to Pels. Now they'll give it to Vollmer, who loses the basketball. It'll come the other way. Riekert will go baseline all by himself, and they're gonna call, they're gonna say no shot and say that that's gonna be a foul on Riekert, which is accurate because that's what they called on, on uh, Titus Rohr earlier. Bears will bring it up. Under a minute to play. Dominic with it, looking to go baseline. Bears just moving it around now. Dominic with it, feeds it underneath to Vollmer. Now to Pels, loses the basketball, going the other way. Burton gives to Hughes, and back to Burton. Looks like the stretch uh, is gonna be happy with 90. And not looking to score here, maybe at the end. But right now, they're taking the last little bit of time here in this game to move things around. Thirteen seconds to play. And it looks like they're just gonna dribble this one out. As Cardinal Stritch will go to 11 and four on the season. And the Bryan Bears will fall to four and 11. So 90 to 51 is your final score. We're gonna take a timeout, come back with some final stats and wrap this one up here on the Golden Bear Sports Network presented by BMU. This Mr. Stanton is the Ford F-150. It is the all time best selling truck in history of the world. Recently intercepted engineering design show that it, the new Ford Buck E and the Ford Bronco are about to cause dramatic changes to the transportation industry. Your mission, if you and your team choose to accept it, is to expose these revolutionary vehicles to the world. This message will self destruct The Bryan Athletic Boosters invites you to become Bryan Strong. In the past three years, the Bryan Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, 
and the Athletic Wall of Fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Bryan High School. They have also made donations to the Bryan Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Bryan Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Bryan Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Are you interested in a bachelor's degree? Did you know you can get your start at Northwest State, save thousands on tuition, and get your credits transferred to the four-year school of your choice? For more information on the NSCC Bachelor's Bound Pathway, contact our advising center today or stop by. All roads begin at Northwest State. Tonight's broadcast of Golden Bear Sports is proudly streamed by BMU Cable and High Speed Internet. BMU is your hometown local provider for digital HD cable and high-speed internet. Call BMU today at 419-633-6100 or visit us on the web at cityofbryan.net. Go Bears from all of us at BMU. Are you looking for a mechanic that really knows how to repair both foreign and domestic vehicles? Let me recommend Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. Dave has spent the last 25 years diagnosing and repairing all makes and models of vehicles in Northwest Ohio. And he's now teamed up with Jason Dietz on State Route 6 just east of Edgerton. So if you're looking for a mechanic that can fix the problem that your last mechanic couldn't, think of Dave Brown at Jason Dietz Customs and Collisions. We know in life that we take time to celebrate life events. We help families honor the lives of those they love by highlighting what made their loved ones special and honoring the legacy that was left. We are often very busy, but we encourage families to slow down, take time to gather together, and celebrate the impact their loved one had on their life. Allow us to work with you when the need arises to create a personalized and meaningful service. Overland Turnbull Funeral Home, we are always here when you need us. The Bryan Athletic Boosters invites you to become Bryan Strong. In the past three years, the Bryan Athletic Booster Board of Directors has purchased new women's basketball uniforms, new football uniforms, and the Athletic Wall of Fame you can see in the hallway next to the gymnasium at Bryan High School. They have also made donations to the Bryan Soccer Association for the Lighting Project and the Bryan Swim and Dive Teams to offset the cost of YMCA diving board and pool equipment. With your contributions, we can accomplish even more. Become a Brian Strong corporate patron today. Go Bears! Back on the Golden Bears Sports Network, 90 to 51 Cardinal Stritch is your winner today uh, here uh, in this non-league contest. We're going to take a look at some stats, so I will uh, turn it over to Tony, who will have the stats for us. The Bears' top scorer was Titus Rohr with 15, and then followed by AJ Martinez, who shot for eight points. The um, Cardinal Scritch, uh, your top scorer was Wilson, which we expected, um, and Brandon Rivels uh, also scored 15. Wilson had 36, which is well more than his uh, average of 25, but not near as high of 48. No, but uh, you definitely saw him towards the end when, before he got pulled out, where he was just passing the ball, distributing it to other people to allow them to score, which is a great sign for uh, to just distribute the ball and give other people a chance to score. All right, so uh, we're going to get out of the uh, way for this one. Uh, we're going to have the game tonight, Liberty Center and Brian, the girls. I uh, do want to thank our crew bringing you the game tonight. Our cameras, Parker Rosebrook and Donnie Miller, our uh, statistician, Tony Malanga, our producer, uh, our director, Eric Herman, our production assistant, Chris KB Bryce. And, uh, you know, we'll be back tonight to do this one uh, against Brian and Liberty Center. So um, this has been a production of BMU Video. This broadcast is copyrighted by BMU and the Board of Public Affairs for the private use of our audience. Any duplication or other use of this broadcast including descriptions or accounts of the game without BMU's consent is prohibited. One final time for all of us at BMU, my name is Chris Malanga. The final score 90 for Cardinal Stritch, Brian for 51. Have a good afternoon everybody.